Hey again, the Technical Manager here at QNAP UK, and today we're going to talk about one of our brand new QUTS Hero Base NAS, which is the TS H886. Um, so, quite a few features on this NAS to go through. Uh, we're going to talk about um, the main difference, which is the QUTS Hero based operating system, but the first feature I want to talk about is the uh, network interfaces. So traditionally we do put four LAN ports on, on QNAPs, and especially the larger ones. Um, normally those are four 1 gig LAN ports, and perhaps we might put a couple of extra 10 gigs sometimes. Um, what we've done in this NAS is a little different from anything else. We've actually put four 2.5 gig LAN ports. So they are, it's still backwards compatible with 1 gig Ethernet, but if you do have a compatible switch like I'm using here, um, it does allow you to, to bond those together. So as you can see here, I've got adapters 1 through 4, which is all four of the LAN ports bonded together, and it's giving me a full 10 gig connection. Um, so one of the side benefits of using the 2.5 gig to achieve um, the, the, the same goal of 10 gig as a, a single 10 gig port would do, is it does allow you to leverage older cabling. So if you did happen to have um, some older Cat5e cabling in the location you needed to put the NAS, it would still allow you to do a 10 gig connection, so long as you had four of them to be able to bond together. Um, so the next thing we're going to jump into is how the storage is actually configured, and some of the differences there that the, the QTS Hero um, based operating system um, is going to give us. So as we can see here, I've got some, some disks inserted, um, got some SSDs for some SSD cache as well. Um, if I was to go down to the storage and snapshot screen, um, even in QTS, this is still the same screen that you would use um, to go through and configure uh, the bulk of the storage options for the NAS. Um, it will look a little different here. So we've got this extra column down the middle. This is called data reduction. And this is a clue to the extra features that we get by using the QTS hero based NAS, which has a ZFS file system. So ZFS as a file system comes with inline compression and data deduplication, and we can leverage both of those in this NAS. Um, so one of the uh, first options we'll talk about is the inline compression. So traditionally um, in, a, in a network device, in a, anything that's offering compression, compression is a task that's run after the fact. So let's say you're doing a backup job, you can compress the backup job before you store it. Um, what we're doing here is inline compression. So as soon as data is stored into the NAS, we're compressing it immediately to get those savings straight away. Not just when the data is backed up to somewhere else, we're getting those as the data is still usable. So it's completely inline real-time compression. The other feature there is data deduplication. So data deduplication is a fantastic feature if you have a lot of duplicates within your organization. So if you did have a very large company, maybe a thousand users, um, lots of different departments, um, there's no one person that knows who's uh, what's stored on this NAS device. And there could be a lot of duplicates. Let's say the marketing department has a couple of hundred meg files that is the same exact files that the sales team might use. Um, so if everybody's storing all the same data on the same device, um, you could potentially be losing quite a lot of capacity just to storing the same data over and over again. Um, by using data deduplication, it's going to know that one team has stored data that another team also has. So what it does is it stores the very first copy of that data, and if another copy comes, it analyzes it, it sees that it's exactly the same, and it effectively gets rid of the second copy. So it doesn't physically have to store it, but it just references the first copy that's already exactly the same that's there. So that can give you some absolutely huge savings. We can see at the bottom here in the storage pool too, I have a data share. And in this data share, it's saying that I've got about 50% used. Um, so it's showing just over six terabytes used. If I go have a look at our file station so I can show you exactly what's inside that folder, I've got a mix and match of different files here. So it's effectively three files, just lots of copies of those same three files to kind of illustrate that point I just mentioned. I've got um, some Ubuntu ISOs here, just under two gigs. I've got a Windows Server 2016 ISO. Um, about six gigs and at the right at the top here I've got some Windows virtual machine um, image files here um, from our virtualization station uh, just over 50 gigs each. So effectively it's just lots of copies of those same three files. Now when I go into manage the storage pool we're going to be able to see um, really just what a difference the data reduction um, uh, functionality is having on that folder. So here if I tap over to the data reduction tab, we can see that the actual physical size of that data, if we didn't do any compression or data deduplication, is just under eight terabytes. Um, with compression alone, we're able to get that data down to just over six terabytes. Um, but with data deduplication on, because after all, there's a lot of duplication in that folder, that physical size of that data that's actually being stored on this QNAP right now for the full nearly eight terabytes is only 48 gigabytes. So 
when it's all in one folder like I've showed you, it's not really that realistic. That's just for your purposes so you can see it. Um, but in a normal organization, that's going to potentially be in all sorts of different departments folders. You know, one department can't necessarily access another department's data, but there could be a lot of duplication there. And this data deduplication is able to look at the blocks, make sure that there's no duplication between folders and save an absolute massive amount of data if the data lends itself to it. Um, so I will give one negative. If you are a creative professional, somebody that works with um, doing photography, filming, that sort of things, um, your data is largely not suited to data deduplication because you know every picture that you take is unique. It's going to be a different file. Everything's different. There's going to be a, a minute difference in the file that it's not going to lend itself very well to doing data deduplication. So instead of getting a very high rate, it would be a very low rate of data deduplication. So it all depends on the type of data as to whether it's going to be very effective for your organization or not. But it can it can really reap some massive savings. Um, so what this can mean is instead of coming to us and saying, hey, I need a uh, 20 terabytes of storage, um, actually you might only need 15. Um, so you can spec 15, see how it goes. If the data deduplication is doing a fantastic job because your data does have a lot of duplicates in it, um, you can save quite a bit of money and only buy the extra storage as and when you need it. So that's a really cool feature using data deduplication. Um, another really cool feature about QTS Hero is our snapshot feature. So the snapshots themselves is exactly the same as in QTS. So you can take a snapshot of a volume. So if I was to right click here and go take a snapshot, it's going to immediately take a snapshot and protect the data inside that, that share. Now, one of the unique features of QTS Hero is that we do have an extra feature called SnapSync. So in QTS, we do have options. So on the left, you can see those options. We've got Snapshot Replica and Snapshot Vault. So QTS has those features as well. This allows you to replicate your snapshots into the vault of another NAS and vice versa. Um, so this is a really good way to get the snapshot data off the NAS so that it can be considered as backed up. If it's just stored within the NAS itself like a traditional plain snapshot, um, it's not technically a backup of your data. Um, with SnapSync, what it's going to do instead of a scheduled replication of your data is you can actually do it as a real-time synchronization of your data. So absolutely everything that happens on one NAS is going to appear on the other NAS. And the best thing of all is you don't have to restore the data like you would with Snapshot Replica. So if there was ever a, a failure with the host NAS, the first NAS was to go down, well, with Snapshot Replica, great, you've got your data, but you do have to restore it to something or, or, or mount it or, or do something with it to get that data up and running again. And there's a time for that to happen because it's got to transfer the data to that location. With SnapSync, there's no need to do that. So if you've got the two NAS, so I just happen to have a second NAS over here that's also running QTS Hero. So I've got this SnapSync feature down here replicating across to a TVS-882T. I have enabled compression and data deduplication on it. And if I was to go look at that NAS over here, I can see that my SnapSync demo volume here that I'm using has 17 snapshots in it. So if I was to go back to this main NAS and go have a look at that one, I can see it also has 17 snapshots. If I was to take another snapshot of that volume on the, the host NAS here, <clears throat> so we'll click OK on that one. Just wait for that to complete. So now that snapshot's done, we're showing that we've now got 18 snapshots on this NAS. And if I was to click over to the other NAS, right now in the background, there's a copy happening of that snapshot. If I was just to refresh it, I can see that now we've also got 18 snapshots over here. Now this folder here on this NAS, it looks very much like a live folder that's on the um, host NAS. The only difference is, is that this folder is completely stored as read-only. Now when this folder is read-only, Nothing can be changed at all by anybody. Not even the admin can change what's in it. But should there be a problem with the host NAS, you can simply come into the SnapSync section. You can stop and delete this SnapSync job that's been created here. And it will then allow you to go edit the permissions of the uh, SnapSync folder that's been created here to match the same permissions that you had on the original volume on the other NAS. No restoring of data, no moving of data or anything. You simply have to edit the permissions from read only to read and write for the correct departments. And then everybody is now able to access that data absolutely instantly. There's 
the data is always there ready to go for anybody to access and it still has the exact same snapshot protection on that data so if I was to click into this snapshot data it would show me all the exact same snapshots that I have accessible on the original one so it's a very cool feature for you to be able to go through restore your data get back up to a working level as absolute quick as possible uh, one last feature that I will talk about that we do have in QUTS Hero, um, we get asked a lot for it, and that's a feature called Worm. Um, for those not familiar with it, it means write once, read many. Um, so we are able to create shares on the NAS um, that utilize Worm. So this is great for anybody that is a creative professional, that type of thing, where you might have a, a folder um, where lots of people can put data into it. Everybody has write access to it. Um, everybody has read access to it, but nobody can delete the data. So once they've copied a file there, it's there forever. They can't change it. Only an admin can log in and change it. Um, so that's just one extra feature that I wanted to talk about, QUTS Hero. Previously, we've had to say that's only been available on our enterprise-based NAS that run the QES operating system, uh, but we are now able to do it in QUTS Hero. Okay, so uh, thanks very much for... for for watching this and for anybody that uh, wants to know more we will be doing another video soon which will be uh, QUTS Hero uh, versus our existing QTS so the differences and benefits of, of one against the other. Okay thanks.